Hello. This is Obscura Undead, where we have some great music recommendations for you. Happy Friday. Yeah, finally. Our music recommendation for you today is Laundrette from Portland, Oregon. And I guess we should introduce ourselves. Sure. I'm Mouse. Want to. I'm Assy. We're Obscura Undead. Well, you said uh, that already. Let's introduce Laundrette. So this is a four-piece um, retro futuristic punk for rinse cycle fever dreams out of Portland uh, of let's see Muff Ideal on bass Brie Mechanorma on synth Fernando Irizari also on synth and Ezra Emily on drums and all of them are also the vocalists for the band yes it actually says the vocals are split amongst the members and I and there's love only five how they tracks. do it so that makes each track super interesting and different from each other, even though they kind of have the same tempo. Yeah, so they end up with these like call callbacks, like accentuations, overlappings. It feels so organic and artistic. And I would <laughs> die, die to see them perform live. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. To see how that synergizes in a live environment. Um, because this uh, this album, Dressing for Pleasure, released July 19th. So we're digging back a little bit, but we had to talk about it. So even um, looking at the album cover, that is artwork by Moff. And it's got this um, retro-futuristic kind of vaporwave city pop look to it. And then when you listen to it, you've got like, for sure, you've got like new wave and punk. Mm-hmm. married together mm-hmm. uh, and not just like 80s but more like super early 80s maybe late 70s yeah you that got kind of bat cave vibes on there uh, yeah but Cynthia though right more synth I mean I, I I feel like there are some serious like like just specimen vibes in here um, along with like new wave mm-hmm. and uh, early synth pop and punk yes. and All of it. It's such a wonderful synthesis. All of it. So, um, you know, like we said, there were um, different vocals on on the different tracks. I really liked Mannequin Man. Oh my gosh, my favorite. My favorite. I was like, oh. So that's when the guy started singing. I don't know which one was singing, um, but uh, it gave me this like modern English slash soft cell vibe, like Mm -hmm. 1979, you know, Mark Almond. It almost sounded like British new wave. That that's what reminded me of like the Bat Cave vibes, just like the the delivery, the the like artistic nature of it. The it had like it also all these like old school like spooky horror vibes in a way too. Yeah. And which is weird because like the album is white, their band camp is all white, you know, so it's got this like this bright, like airy, like no wave look to it. Yeah. And they're like bright and dark at the same time. It's like I said, like, I just, I need to see, I I need to see the band live because I just, Mm -hmm. I have this feeling that they are just, they seem like a lot of fun. They seem like so much fun. It seems like chaos just synthesized into something just pure and raw. Uh, I also really liked track four, Channels. I liked the sort of back and forth on the, the vocals and just the raw energy and the amount of repetition throughout the track. Those vocals just reminded me straight up of a Human League song, Mm -hmm. which I love Human League. Um, So it had that bass um, that's normally, normally the bass is like drowned out by the synth in the other tracks, but you can actually hear the bass in this song. Um, But there there must be three people singing on this song and I I absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. I I I also liked um, track three. Fruit Fly, just going back one track. Yes. Um, super simple synth, almost like mono synth. Um, there's a whole genre of mono synth where it's just, you know, no baseline, just synth. Um, and the alternating vocals, especially at the end where they're singing, alternating, like shouting back and forth, it mm-hmm. was very punk rock, but it absolutely worked for this um, with the melody. And it was just um, like a more electronic version of punk. Yes, definitely uh, fits up to their, you know, 
calling themselves retro fut- retro futurist punk, which I, is another like logical vein that we've been seeing coming out of music lately. I thought the, I thought it sounded crazy for them to use that word. I was like retro futurist, come on, you know. And then I listened to it and I was like, wait, that's the word. And I, I know that that we were talking about this um, on uh, one of our other videos, but. I don't know, I just want to say 2021, there, there's just this explosion of music that's just like, I don't give a fuck, I just want to put out something fun. We just need to put out something, yeah. We just need to make something fun. Like, fun and loud and fuck you society, instead of, I, I don't I don't know uh, what the shift is, but I, I, I was starting to get a bit bored, and now I'm not getting bored anymore, if that makes any sense. Well, we were all going through the same kind of, um... We're going through the same, we're all trapped. Mm. You know, I think the effects of the pandemic have definitely come out in the music and we knew that, you know, looking at what was churned out in 2020, a lot of it was uninspired. So big changes are happening for better or for worse, but things are changing. And um, right. it's it's very scary for a lot of people and it goes into the music. And Absolutely true. So- some of it is like a bright spot. Some of it is a fantasy. Um, some of it is a deep dark pit that you never want to crawl out of. Yeah, but it's to live in that deep dark pit. The music this year is way better than last year, anyway. Absolutely agree, and I don't think it's 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 hopeless or it's hopefulness. I think it's people just being like, I cannot take this anymore. I I it's it's either do this or break. Yeah, yeah, and they're not doing what they're told either. <laughs> like, like people are like, you have to make music that sounds like this, and they're like, no, no. It's like we're you know gonna, what? No, I had a whole year being told what to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm exactly. Being told what to do. I am sick yeah. of all of this, this, this bullshit, classism, racism, um, social societal problems. Ugh. But the lyric that I want to leave you all with is from Channels. All the channels are open. Bloodshot eyes are a sign of the times. Oh my god. True. True. All right. And with that, um, I will leave you with just one thing. Um, please be kind to others. It, it's really simple. Just treat others how you yourself would want to be treated uh, and take the first step. So that's all I have for you. We'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye. Bye. Have a fun weekend. Oh, yeah. Go have a weekend. Turn